Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Rain Day Gaming. My name is Rain Day and it's time to talk about the new champion announced in Paladins OB45 and that is Inara. Now Inara is the frontline female champion that everyone had been requesting in the community. And though, although she may look a bit different than you would have imagined, I feel that she brings an incredible amount of diversity to the realm, not only with her kit, but with her art style. With this video, I'll talk to you about some of my favorite parts about Inara. I'll go and break down her skills and talk to you about what my experience has been with her in the last few weeks of playtesting her as we do behind the scenes. I'll also try to hypothetically talk about Inara in the upcoming meta and see how she might fit in and where she might shake things up. Ultimately, she's a very strong champion and I think you're gonna be very excited to play her she's a lot of fun she feels very good very fluid and again I'm really really excited to get into her skills so without further ado let's move on to it let's start talking about what she does so as a frontline champion Inara is meant to be tanky she's meant to get into the fight be effective at close range and she has some tools that allow her to be effective at medium to longer ranges as well let's start talking about her left mouse button her stone spear now this was what was linked last week in the dev q and I did with dry bear people have been speculating about this this is Inara's weapon it's a magical spear that shoots these these rocks out of it that do damage each and they shoot in bursts of three there actually hasn't been a burst weapon in Paladin so this is the first of its kind for this game and it means that even though you're shooting one clip of ammo each clip of ammo has three distinctive projectiles within it she's gonna be able to do a decent amount of damage with this thing especially up close and it also means that mid-range and long range she's going to be able with these projectiles to hit some airborne targets maybe have a little bit more of an impact against flying drogoses or or evies who are trying to escape I know that when I was playtesting Inara I felt that the whole map was my oyster I was actually really able to uh, shoot anyone that was in my line of sight and, and have an impact on their health and that felt good as a frontline uh, especially since you know Know, Ruckus it feels like one of those only frontliners that can really impact a fight that's away from him Anara definitely uh, has some significant poke pressure and though she does have fall off I, I find that she's still a valuable asset both on and off the point with her weapon Anara's right mouse button is called earthen guard what earthen guard does is it's a damage reduction for Anara and all of her deployables now I haven't spoken about this but Anara definitely is a, a deployable bulldozer countered champion at least that's the intent tension for her whether players tend to do that or not we don't know people don't buy cauterize in my games even though there's a ying on the other team i'm just saying i don't know if it's going to happen but intentionally that is the purpose with some of her kit to make bulldozer probably a little bit more viable and and have another champion that's countered by a different route in uh itemization and with this she's going to build deployables and so having earthen guard not only to give her damage reduction but also to reduce the damage reduction from all of her deployables is very very important she wants to keep those alive they're a big key core part of her kit and how she interacts on the battlefield and so earthen guard is going to help her and all of her creations to stay healthy so Randy, you talk to me about these deployables what are they what are we doing in here ladies and gentlemen if you're a smite fan raise the roof or raise the wall and nara's q ability is called impasse that's right she throws up a wall and it can knock up enemies and it could actually cause a collision with self and allies as well this has some very interesting kind Kind of interactions with her ultimate uh, but it's a very very cool ability that basically just blocks off a space we saw earlier on in Sha Lin's kit that in the design process some of his impaler arrows were intentionally uh, first designed to be able to block off space but they felt that this was better used for an upcoming champion and here I believe at least it is unless they got something else in the bag that I haven't talked about at least this is I think the wall blocking the area blocking kind of style that they were going for and and Nara is the one who gets it and uh, it could be really valuable I mean just looking at the ability for Inara to go forward and and block off an entire space I mean think of maps like Jaguar Falls or think of maps like Frozen Guard or, or Ice Mines for crying out loud where there are limited ways to access the point and if you limit at least one of those ways maybe there are only two viable ones or maybe you, there's only one and as far as Ice Mines if you can limit that with a wall if you could shut an entire area off of the wall or force a team to deal with that before they head into the capture objective
offensive and meanwhile they've just had all these traps set up for them and everyone's ready to just poke them down the second they they break through it it could be a huge advantage for your squad and so Inara brings in a definitely different dynamic but a very powerful dynamic when used correctly I think pros and the best players in casual and ranked play are going to be able to just devastatingly uh, dominate a fight whether it's locking uh, an opponent into a room that they want to exit or whether it's trapping someone away from their team and just allowing you to isolate a target or stop them from getting to the objective on time impasse is going to be a very impact ability like what I did there all right impasse that's the Q now let's move on to her F which is again another really good ability to zone and to help create this kind of space control which Inara excels at she's all about controlling space and controlling uh, pacing and she's very very fun with it her F is called warders feel and so she will place a stone totem in the ground that projects a pulse that slows and damages nearby enemies uh, just to be aware the, the totem does go on cooldown once it dies and it spawns kind of right in front of you so it's not something you could deploy very far away it's more so uh, in the grok range where you kind of got to put your body you put your body where your mouth is or put your body where your totem's gonna be uh, if you want to go ahead and make sure it covers an area again I think of ice mines and just you know how Eevee's uh, ice storm can be so effective in just zoning out a potential corridor maybe it's 87% uh, your team's trying to get back in to contest an overtime or maybe make sure that they can start the overtime Imagine Warders Field going up in that passage and they're crippled, right? Or maybe they're slowed and they just can't get out of that. Uh, with the legendaries, you actually have an opportunity to allow uh, this to cripple as well. So imagine just that cripple coming through. No one can use their movement skill abilities and they're just getting blasted down the line of sights that has been created and just they're slow. They can't do anything. There's no <laughs> there's no chance for them to survive. Warders Field uh, is a great pacemaker as well because you allow people who get near you in a fight to really have no escape or that slow which is very impactful to just keep them in an area while you yourself can finish them off or your teammates. It's also got great synergy with people like Makoa, uh, with people like Bomb King, because you could set up certain things like Grumpy Bombs or uh, Sky Time Bombs, where people usually just run away. Well, if they're slowed, if you set up a Warders Field, or even if it's a Cripple, and you set up so they can't use their movement skill, there's no way for them to get out. There's a lot of different opportunities to, to use this in Paladins, but I think that the potential is extremely high. I'm very excited about it. Um, I found this to be one of the stronger abilities as well in the play test with Inara and it's definitely not something you want to go near if you're an enemy so we know she's got the wall to wall you in or keep you out we know she's got the warders field to keep you slowed if she does get near you we know she's hitting you with that stone spear for a great amount of damage and we know that she's mitigating a lot of damage with that earthen guard and mitigating your ability to kill her deployables quickly as well so what else could she be bringing to the realm what else could make her a game changer let me tell you what it's the ultimate. It's Seismic Crash. This ult allows Inara to toss her spear and stun enemies within 25 feet for a couple of seconds. Now, this stun radius is pretty dang large. Think of 25 feet. That is the size of Inara's, uh, excuse me, Sky's Smoke Bomb currently, which is a very big size. So that entire radius, you're going to be able to stun people. Now, the cool thing about it is that it goes through shields, which means that so what if you have a Makoa shield up, if you have a Fernando shield up, if you have a Barrack shield up and you got Torvald standing on place, it ain't going to matter because you just throw the spear down and everyone is stunned. Now, the other really cool thing about it is that she is CC immune during the duration of this. Unlike Torvald, who using his hyper beam can get stunned out of it or hooked out of it uh, by any other type of CC, any CC like that, Inara cannot be stopped when she starts to channel this. And that's a very powerful thing to have this stun guaranteed. The only way to do it is to kill her. It's very, very tough to combat that. Uh, the other cool thing is that when you actually go into the ultimate, you pause in the air it's kind of like the slow-mo effect and i don't know what i can say about it other than that it's really cool like they did a great job and i know cret worked really hard uh, james horgan one of the designers here as well as the entire design team to really put together some very cool aspects to this champion that makes her feel fun that makes people want to play her that gives kind of the i think enough gusto 
uh, to fulfill what the community was really wanting out of a female frontliner. And this ultimate, I think, seals the deal. It puts the icing on the cake, uh, the way she feels in air. And in fact, if you jumped in air, if you knocked yourself up into the air uh, and you were able to actually throw your ultimate, press your E, wherever you do, you will pause. So it's very much like Androxus's ultimate where you can get caught midair and just be like ready to throw it down in this slow wind up and just looking like an action movie, you know, like climax sequence and really change the tide of a fight. It, it feels so good to stun like two, three, four, or five people. It feels so good to follow up on it and to see the, the kills roll in for your team. This is probably my favorite part about Inara, and I'm so excited to see the hype plays that come from this. And it travels very far as well, so you can actually impact the fight from a long way away. Uh, you don't have to be right on the point to do it. So I know I said a lot here, and I know this is a very first look at Inara for a lot of you. I want to know your opinions. Let me know what you think about Inara in the future. I want to make another video that's discussing Inara a little bit more in depth, whether we go into some items that will work well, whether you really want to get Bulldozer on her, or if there are more efficient ways to deal with her, uh, and also where I think she'll fit into the meta a little bit more in depth. I definitely want you to stay tuned for that here. So you can subscribe to the channel if you want to make sure you catch some of those videos. and Leave a like here if you enjoyed this one as well. As for now, I think Inara is going to do a good job shaking up the meta. I think new frontliners are, are things that people like to experiment with, although the pacing isn't set in stone as to what it will provide for your team. I think because of the stun, because of uh, the slow, the wall, I, on certain maps, maybe not Frog Isle that's a little bit more open, but on certain maps like Jaguar Falls, Ice Mines, Frozen Guard, uh, I think we will see Inara have a really cool place in the meta, but only time will tell. Do you like Inara? Are you excited about this new champion? Can't wait to get your hands on her. What ability do you like the most and why? Will she be powerful? Will she be a little weak? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, remember to never give up, never stop gaming, and I'll see you all next time.